All right, we are some poor Cleveland metal scene, and we are here with Augmented Through Blood. Tell us about yourselves. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go. <laughs> um, we started, I guess you could say, three years ago, but we just now started getting things off the ground. This year, we um, it was started. It was my and my brother's idea. Um, we wanted to be a straight thrash band at first, but I met him in high school, and he introduced me to kind of other metal genres, and. We, we're starting to blend a little bit of death metal and little metal core within the thrash. Right. So kind of start doing our own thing, have something that's a little bit different. Alright. Cool. What do you play? Um, I'm the guitarist and singer, and then right now I'm recording drums because we need a drummer. I'm the other guitarist. I'm the bassist. You guys don't have names. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Galen Carr. This is Joshua, Joshua Carr. Carr. I'm William Bentley. <laughs> Two cars and a Bentley, pretty generic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch it. That's awesome. <laughs> it fits. Yeah. Alright, what kind of instruments are you guys like rocking out with? Like, kind of um, brands or custom or. Oh, um, this is play? a ESP LTD MH50. I um, had to do some work on it. Cut that off. <laughs> I had to do some work on this myself. I um, installed this. <laughs> Golden Floyd Rose special here, and it was um, a pain getting in, but it looks nice and sounds pretty good. I use, I always play with um, Dimebag Daryl custom strings. All right. That's what I like to play with. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm letting them die if I don't buy the string. I got my Jackson right here, currently capoed on the second because it's in drop C. Um, got some DR strings on here, some drop tuning. Can't say I'm a big fan of the way they sounded so far, so I'm probably gonna go back to my previous ones. Alright. But um this is this is my drop tuning guitar. And then I also have a seven string in the corner there hiding from us. The beast. Yeah, you know, when you wanna get real low and heavy. It's okay. actually what crawling in shadows was mainly done with. Crawling in shadows is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Aggravated aggression is awesome too. <laughs> it's upside down, but and that oh, that's those. beautiful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no one can play with it. That's just for show. That's awesome. That's a beautiful guitar. This one, this one cost me a pretty penny. And it's my baby. Love her. <laughs> oh, finder's keeper. So just take a Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. People no. will die. Yes, yes. That was a beautiful guitar. Heads will be taken. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I'm just kidding. That's a, that's just, a beautiful guitar. Yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> you know, the one that I'm going to have to like. <laughs> Put the right side up. I come back upside down. <laughs> that part never happens. Yeah. Yeah. That is a beauty. Yeah. Make sure you lock that up real good. Right. Someone's got sticky fingers. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> good thing there's a key. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you guys could tour with any band, who would it be? The answer might be different for all of us. You that's know, that's fine. Yeah, that's for, me, fine. for me, it would definitely be Trivium. Like, mm -hmm. Trivium has been a, my favorite band for a long time. A lot of my influence came from them. and There's just no album by them that they went wrong on. Did you go to their show at the House of Blues a few oh, weeks yeah. ago? <laughs> definitely yeah. went to that one. Um, who would I tour with? I listen to a lot of music. <laughs> if I could tour with anybody, it would either be Slayer or Metallica. Just because I'm really a thrash head, it's the main genre I listen to, and you got—I feel I consider Slayer to be like the heaviest band of all time. And it'd be cool just to be around them and um, kind of feed off their energy and see what they've been doing and see what's successful with them, and try to transfer that in my own way and give it out to my fans. And I'll get. That's cool. And you, I Mr. told Quiet. Metallica because it just puts me in the spot of Cliff Burton. Rest in peace. And he's basically my hero. He's really been inspiring to me. Any thoughts on Skeleton Witch? <laughs> yeah, I actually have not heard Skeleton Witch. <laughs> what? Actually, I have not. My boss recently showed me that um, it's it's interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. You have to check it out. It's actually pretty really? interesting I've stuff. I've never heard of Skeleton Witch. You have to check it out. That's crazy. <laughs> They're old stuff. Oh, okay. Their new stuff is a little... Oh, shit, really? Um... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I like Skeleton much. Um, so, what do you guys do before you practice? Like, jumping jacks or <laughs> block, like, 
go around giant eagle or what? Basically, one of us picks up an instrument and starts riffing, and the other people just kind of pick up, find yeah. something to play along with it. Uh, probably before practice, do run through some scales, start off really slow, and go faster, 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 and then vocal warm ups. I'll try to. It's not proper warming up at all. I'll just play a song, play a song, and sing along to it. Probably some Lamb of God, Pantera. And then our recently glass cloud I just got into. Well, heard huh. um, I'll simply just start with really light stuff and then basically move on to metal because metal is a more energizing genre. Uh, agreed completely. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite metal bands that it's not Slayer? <laughs> or Metallica? <laughs> You start this um, <laughs> Who do I like to listen to? I love Lamb of God. Really good band. I like what they do. Um, Trivium, of course, he listed them. I could go on and on and on this list. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, mid Exodus. Of course, Pantera. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not continue. Pantera's good. <laughs> who else? Can't forget Death Clock. Death Clock, of course. Oh, <laughs> we got Death Clock there. Um, Suicide Silence I like. Um, I actually, I'm the very rare minority. I do not like the Black Crown that much. I prefer the cleansing. and. Yes, the cleansing was good. The like Black Crown was interesting. Um, all types of bands. I, so, yeah. much, so much music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's pretty much about the same. You know, Devil Driver in there. Um, I also like the older bullet for my Valentine, like the Poison, Scream and Fire. Mm -hmm. Although, People, people kind of give me a little bit of trouble for that. It's not emo, it just sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what other people jam out to what you want? That's right. what I'm saying. I always yeah. enjoy it. I still listen to it. Um, Ooh, back Kill, switch and <laughs> Kill Switch Engaged also. Right. A lot of metalcore. It's, it's one of my favorite genres. Define metalcore. <laughs> of course, uh, Death Clock. I, I Death like Clock is not metalcore. I like to think of metalcore as <laughs> thrash, but with melody. More the core melody and stuff, but still with the thrash kind of feel. Like, there's a lot of controversy of what's what nowadays. I'm like, really? Just I mean, listen. I consider Who cares? metal with hardcore punk influence. I mean, there's so the metal umbrella is huge though, and mm -hmm. the genres are to help us classify what it sounds like. Because if you were to hear us, and then go to another local band like Audio Engine, we, we don't sound the same. But we need those subgenres to tell what the difference is. Yeah, because there's like bands like My Chemical. Well. Scratch that. <laughs> There's bands like Motionless and White and Alasana and Aiden and all those bands. Like, they have their own subcategory. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna listen to it. <laughs> but, um, okay, our, our bassist here did not get to say who he likes to listen to. He got run over. Uh, well, I just like to listen to. Well, it depends on what comes on the music list. I don't. I'm not very pickety, I just basically, oh, yay, Death Clock, or oh, yay, Anthrax. It just do really doesn't matter to me, it's all awesome. Pink. <laughs> you know pink is, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you could choose one female celebrity to take out on a date or to a concert, who would it be? Hmm. Mm. Two taken guys here. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. Choose your words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I didn't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the con take to a concert one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Female celebrity. Um. Oh, it doesn't have to be female, just any celebrity. Any celebrity. <laughs> You girls can't really get upset about a hypothetical. I mean, <laughs> no one said hypothetically anything's happening after the show. <laughs> I guess it'd be cool to hang out with like the girls from my party or whatever because they seem like goofy people. And I get goofy sometimes, I guess that's why. I think. So. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know who I'd pick. Like, just nobody comes to mind. I got, there's so many people, nobody, I can pick up one. <laughs> like, <laughs> Rob, two words. Robert Trujillo. <laughs> Trujillo. <laughs> He's the Hispanic one, not me. You can help him out with that. We'll, we'll work on the proper speaking later. <laughs> I oh. failed Spanish class. <laughs> I failed English on one uh, I think I failed Spanish class, but I can't read the F. <laughs> <laughs> 
great. We're going downhill, guys. That's how you know you know, bro. Like, oh, I can't read it, whatever. Oh, stereotypes. <laughs> Sorry. All true. Got a, got a, almost a genius here. Alright, do you guys have, like, special meanings for your songs or just, like, rocking out and coming up with something that's important to you or important to what you believe in or... Um, since we only have two songs that are out and fully made public right now, I guess <laughs> I'll, let, <laughs> I'll let him explain Crawling in Shadows and then um, I'll explain a little bit, I'll explain the meaning of Aggravated Aggression and then um, I'll let Josh will talk about some of the, since he isn't talking much, I'll let him talk about some of what's going on with the bass there and what he feels is important. Yeah, Crawling in Shadows was, um, it's, it's kind of a song, the lyrically, but the topic wise, it's, it's a book from my Valentine influence. It's about being lied to and being hurt by someone you put a lot of time and care towards. And um, basically it's, you know, you, uh, you wanted to know the truth and they, they wouldn't give it to you. And they just kept holding back and holding back. And eventually it just built up to where you couldn't take it. And you feel that before the solo when it picks up and it, everything's just coming out. And then from there it just smooths into the solo where, you know, it's the more emo the emotions there and the feeling picks up. Much respect. <laughs> Those two songs that were like on repeat for like the last two hours. <laughs> I'm like, alright, alright, that's cool. It's been a lot of time. Um, <laughs> aggravated Aggression was, it's really, if we're going to go influence wise, Aggravated Aggression is a mashup of Death Clock and Slayer in terms of instrumental. Instrumentally it's a Slayer and Death Clock song kind of mashed together, but the meaning of it is just tackling your problems like whatever they may be I mean some people are getting bullied on or some people have that boss they can't go anywhere it's just aggravated aggression is just taking out all your anger and like it's just finally letting it out I guess you could say that and then at the end the you die is probably the most violent lyric in this song it's just you know letting your pain out and just saying that you instead of sitting and not being able to take your pain is more so not I'm not gonna like some people self-harm themselves but in their mind it's just that feeling of wanting to harm somebody else i guess you could put it that way any comments on the bass on the bass itself on the bass for aggravated aggression crawling shadows what's going on there eh on that part i'd say it's a bit simplistic and i feel like we need to add more technical songs so that way i could get better i just started out like a few years ago don't worry, the songs we're working on right now, right. In, in the workshop, you're going to be playing. Right, we have you're some gonna... stuff coming out, so, yeah. I'm also working on a song called Poser. I'm just spoiling it for you. And Spoilers! <laughs> also, it'll talk about how people basically change how they are just to fit in. I've had plenty of friends who accepted who I am, and then they just turn ghetto. It's just annoying. Much respect. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> we don't advocate much of the posing and changing who you are mm -hmm. to fit in. So all in all, if you do that, you already lost yourself. Right. Well, um, see this awesome laptop over here? What do you guys use for uh, mixing? Um, Ladies and yeah, gentlemen, got the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, incorrect. This is the drummer. And <laughs> This is what we drum on. <laughs> we um we use this Elisa's drum kit here, and right now it's me because we're trying to find a drummer. I'm gonna stretch that again. We need a drummer. <laughs> we use the laptop here right now. I'm running Guitar Rig Four, and um I record from the from the guitars here, and then use Guitar Rig straight into the, the Audacity program because it's free and that's about our budget. <laughs> but we do our best to get you good metal music, and then um we usually do couple different tracks we don't do much layering of our tracks there's probably a, the most we've done is probably six seven tracks a song so it's not very high production values just so right now we just have raw recordings but on the album you hear much higher production value we'll be in hours and hours and hours getting the song with the sound right for you but this is it this is what makes our sound there's not much to it nothing fancy going on <laughs> adding on to that i don't know that's aggression. a fancy chair <laughs> I made aggression took so long. I cannot tell me tell you how many recordings I've made of aggravated aggression. Yeah, we, how many how many releases did we have of that? Oh. We finally got it. As a comment, yeah, I the whole free thrashing Sunday thing is just 
It took so long to get those songs out. We released them. We're like, oh, we can get you better. We can get you better. Because we're always trying to get the best sound that we have and how the song sounds in our head out on cheap equipment. We're like, uh, we can get it back. We can do it better. But we're trying our best to get you the best sound we can. <laughs> what has been the most awesome concert you guys have ever been to? Doesn't matter the year. <laughs> Well, I've only been to two concerts. One was a Pink Floyd cover band. What? Who was it? Wish, wish you were here. I was forgot what they were. Pretty sure that's what they were called. And then, of course, the Trivium Double Driver concert. I mean, Trivium's a favorite band. You go to bed, it's always my favorite. <laughs> Wait, this cover band was, was this the band that had the entire audience singing "Brick in the Wall" instead of themselves? Because my brother went to that. Um, we we all went along with it when we were there. Yeah. They had the pig flying around. Yeah, they threw out the pig and the wings, you know. Yeah. It's too short to touch it. <laughs> um, what, I've only I've actually only been to two concerts. I've been to that, and um, recently at the Foundry, I went to go see Audio Engine play. That was pretty cool because I know some of the members in that. So I went to go. It was pretty good. There was no. I was disappointed. There was no mosh pit. I was disappointed in the crowd. It's a metal How show. Sad, <laughs> the How sad, Cleveland. The bassist even went on the unicycle. How the sad, Cleveland. The bassist was on the unicycle, and no one gave the, for them the love they needed. So I was Aww. disappointed with that. So this is why no metal bands come to Cleveland anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they skip over like corn skipped over our state <laughs> completely. Just. Oh my God, Columbus. Left. Yeah, just. Yeah, they're always in Columbus. <laughs> Cannibal Corpse was in Columbus. You gotta go to, like, Pennsylvania again. You have the show Kill Switch mm -hmm. and then Gaga. Josh, on. no comment. No concert. You were all there at the Pink Floyd concert. That's, the that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money. He's too young. We don't get out much. We're usually in here either making <laughs> stuff, making our own stuff, or listening to other people's stuff. We need it's my, it's my goal to get us out as a band more and see what else everybody else in Cleveland is doing, especially the metal bands, to see you get out there and see the Dead Irons and bands like that who are, who are metal in Cleveland so we can see who we're playing with, not as much competing, but just to see like basically who our family is. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. All right, so the meaning of genre seems to change over and over throughout the years, and you said tried to be one thing and then brought in like three different other influences. If you could name your own genre, something you think would stick, what would you call your band? Um, I'm, sh <laughs> I'm sure this name is taken, but um, if anything, I wish that there was no such thing as Thrashcore because I feel that would be a perfect name for our type of music. It's mainly thrash metal, but every once in a while we we'll might throw in the breakdown to surprise people. Or we de and we definitely have Gravity Blasting in there, so it's not exactly pure thrash, but there's definitely metalcore influences. We like the Trivium, Suicide Silence, Kill Switch of Gaze, Lamb of God, and all that. Hmm. Also, along with the Anthrax, Metallica, Testament, and all that. So it's really a oh, mashup of that. All right. <laughs> Testament, all right. Testament, all right. Hmm. Alright, um, as a band, what is the most annoying thing that any other other bandmates do? Bring them up. Like not show up on time or <laughs> anything silly? If we go with that, we'd have to talk with every drummer we've had. Yeah, every drummer we've had <laughs> has either canceled right before instead of letting us know ahead of time or they've not shown up at one point. I know one of my personal pet peeves is like when we're trying to teach especially him i'm trying to teach him something or we're learning a new song and when he has a problem with the song instead of voicing what's wrong he just gives me this blank look and it makes me like go crazy and it's like <laughs> I just what's wrong tell me what's going on you know it's really aggravating but two brothers are four i guess <laughs> as a band how many boxes of pizza do you think you guys have eaten not many <laughs> we went through a couple i mean we went to little caesars like recently <laughs> Um, maybe only four or three. I mean, we don't do pizza that much. <laughs> what do you eat? Um, <laughs> gotta if, eat something. You go, right, right. <laughs> you go to the kitchen. I mean, it's basically go to the kitchen and um, what's ever there is just like um, sort of like a Minecraft of whatever we can throw together. <laughs> Kansas soup, ramen. If my mom buys pizza, we'll eat that. Hot dogs, whatever's there, basically. <laughs> Not much preference. We're not very really high maintenance, so whatever's up there, we'll get right back down here. Really. How often do you guys lose track of time playing? We'll practice All the time. Every practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like 
show up at 1.30. All of a sudden it's 5 o'clock. It's only been an hour. No, it's 5 o'clock. Right. <laughs> and it'll be 10 o'clock at night. The parents are like, oh, shut it off. It's been too long. You look at the clock. You didn't even know it's 10. It's dark outside. Mm -hmm. Neighbors are probably pissed. We don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't talk to them. We don't know. <laughs> well, well don't have <laughs> Alright, uh, can you guys play a little something for us? Sure. Yeah. Give me time. We guys, we'll give you guys time to set up. Oh, yeah. I still so wish I had a metal base instead of Earth, Wind, and Fire base. Sounds fine. I know, it sounds great. It sounds great. We'll use jazz music. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe you don't have a dream guitar. My dream base would definitely be the fiber. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to stop recording while you guys set up or what, but you, whatever. If they have a problem with it, they can just tell us to like edit it out. That's not a problem. <laughs> a random question while you guys are setting up is there any song by any band whatsoever that you wish you could play a cover of on stage mm. more meter <laughs> uh, trying to think of what trivium song I would pick <laughs> something off of Shogun Shogun, uh, Trivium, Shogun album well, any song from there would probably just be sick um, my answer actually would be, um, No Pity for a Coward from Suicide Silence, yeah. actually. Um, my reason for that being, um, I just want to break every possible stereotype that can be thrown at me. I mean, I'm already a black metal musician, but also the thing is, I'm, I'm very much Christian, even though I'm in a metal band, and people will be like, oh, you listen to that, you listen to that? So I'd make sure that people know that I'm very open-minded. And that'd be a great song for me to play through that. How about you? Well, um, as I said before, Cliff's basically my hero. And my favorite song from him will definitely be Seek and Destroy, so yeah. Okay. I can already play that, but I don't. Where's the stage? <laughs> <laughs> There's my Pantera ringtone that should have been off. Sorry about that. <laughs> Product placement. Yep. <laughs> this video not brought to you by Napster. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the fast forward button? <laughs> 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 
We're gonna hear that riff so much if, if it plays every time I text, we're gonna end up hearing the song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another question before you guys start. What are your thoughts on CDs versus downloading? I like What's having a prefer? hard copy. I like having a hard copy. It's, it's better than just, you know, you have some stuff on your phone or your MP3 player. It's like you actually have a hard copy, something you can hold on to from, you know, it's, your, it's the band you're buying from. Mm -hmm. it's, you're supporting that band, not just, I just want the songs, I don't care about the band. I don't want to look at the art that went into the, to the, to the album and all mm -hmm. that. Um, I actually prefer MP3s a lot. I mean, it's probably because I'm kind of a tech geek. I'm an IT major. I love operating systems and gaming, and I just don't like it. It's like it feels like a burden to me to have to pull out a CD every time I want to listen to something. That I just like so much music, and I could rather just go to like Pandora or something, just type in deathcore radio or thrash radio, and I got millions of songs coming at me from all these different artists and stuff. And then they can't scratch either. That's my main thing. If the song skips, it's like it bothers me a lot. And like, I need the rhythm, and I'm like hand banging to it, and it skips, and it goes like past the soul or something. It bothers me a lot, so I like MP3s. I like MP3s because I've broken at least ten <laughs> compact discs over my lifetime, so I'm, I'm extremely clumsy. It's not my last. Happy base. Where did mine go? Went. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm also nearsighted. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I have seen a collection that ranges from stuff from 1970s to now. Uh, impressive. Uh, but I don't have a stereo, so I'm stuck listening to YouTube. Don't let me <laughs> It pisses her off. I prefer to go the middle rule right between the CDs, MP3s, whole debate. I'd buy a physical copy, rip the tracks off of it, lock the physical copy in a vault somewhere, and if I lose the files, just re-rip the shit. That way you have your hard copy, but then you have the unbreakable MP3s. Yeah.
Even faster than Slayer. Don't get hit yourself. That was one song. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Really, that was awesome. And, uh, yeah. I'm like a live cover of it. That's, All that's right, remember amazing. we need that chair is empty. <laughs> we need someone in that chair. <laughs> that means if you think you they can play, it, if you think you can play it, raining blood, that flat <laughs> fast. We want to hear from you. So that chair is empty for now. We need someone in that chair. We need a drummer. Our second last drummer got sent to the military, or is it boot camp? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know, some else are going stereotype it. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome, thank you guys. That was awesome. Are you guys planning on doing a show soon or soon as finish getting all together? As soon as we get this soon as we get a drum train and brought in, we'll be doing shows yep. right from there. We're trying to release more free material for right now and also we'll have an album next year coming out called Harvest All Virgins actually. <coughs> um, that'll be released next year, but Ooh, until then like <laughs> we'll be trying to release more free music for people to listen to before we have the album come out. Which we're sorry we can't have that for free. We need to be able to fund more equipment. As you can see, we need more amps. We need an acoustic drum set for live. Mm -hmm. We're doing our best I can. We're doing the best we can, though. Yeah, that's what, our, that's what I'm working on. I play drums, but I don't. This is beautiful. I'm going to try and drum set. Yep. That's yeah. For right now, I'm also the temporary drummer for this band. So. <laughs> That's how that goes. Yeah. Do you guys mind if we uh, use your two tracks to put on our sample that we hand out at shows? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we have to ask. They're, it's it's yeah. fine. It's totally okay. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. We hand them out at shows so other bands playing can get to know other Cleveland bands. Right. Like fans can get to know other Cleveland bands. I'm all for that. I'm trying to get out yeah. there and hear uh, from other people. Our biggest pet peeve is having five people show up to local shows. Yeah. Yep. And I've seen it. I'll we're just standing that. around like. Doors have been open for two hours, so like, where the hell is everyone? Right. I'm just looking around like, we were at a show here last week. All these people already have our samplers. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, where's, like, all the new people? But... Right. We actually have some more questions for you guys. Okay. You guys don't mind if we're kind of looking at us and understand. So, um, are you guys into video games? Um, <laughs> yeah, of big course. gamers. Um, <laughs> so. It's hard to lose the reason why this band Exactly. <laughs> That's true, even for me. <laughs> They're coming from Texas, yeah. So. Uh, favorite kind of game, shooter, RPG, oh, I, cartoony. <laughs> you said you said my two, shooter and RPG. Um, I'm basically first person shooter. At one point I was like a guitar hero addict, like playing a song, okay. but that fad's kind of out now in the gaming industry, so it's mm. mainly first person shooter. Halo is my favorite shooter, and then Battlefield. I've owned other games, but they kind of collect dust because those two are the main yeah, things that I play. He's Halo, I'm Gears. Always, I'm still playing Gears 3 to this day. <laughs> got Judgment the day it came out. Cool. Cool. Let's play Gears. We got to hear from one more band member, though. <laughs> well. Uh, Come on. Halo and I, we had the same birth. We don't have the same birthday, but we both had the same year. Halo is my peer. Halo is my best friend. <laughs> Both came out at 2001. <laughs> Any thoughts on the new systems? Xbox One, PS4, PS3 is still new. <laughs> Wii U. Well, and the Wii U is also thrown in there. I heard that. Um, I'm actually, I prefer the Xbox over PlayStation, and I will be. Yes, <laughs> I will be carrying that trend. Not to say that what Sony is with what Sony isn't doing is good. It's just that for one, the main thing is before any other game, I have to play Halo. Sorry, Sony, no Halo. And two is just it's shoot, you can tell it's shooter centered, and I mainly play first person shooters. That's what I'm about. So she sold on an Xbox One about. Fucking Dead Rising. <laughs> Dead Rising is my game. Um, ah, go ahead. I stand neutral on that right now, just because, like, I had a PlayStation 3 and it was fun to play. Um, I have an Xbox 360 right now and it's still fun to play. Mm -hmm. Right. I, it's like if I could get both, I would. I got. I'm broke at the moment, so I can't even decide which one I want till I save up. <laughs> You're broke. I'm broke. My it's hard to say that when you have that boy. Yeah, I know. Exactly Where do you think all my money went? <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a reason I'm broke. <laughs> That's cool. That's a beautiful guitar, though. It is. That's my baby. 
keep that safe on crazy things so when you guys start playing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be like, oh, what's that? Don't mind if I do. I have to drop kick someone. Else. <laughs> <laughs> Did I touch you? <laughs> you lose that finger. What are your thoughts on the modern music scene? Like, moshing versus hardcore, whatever, or just headbanging, or what do you guys like to do at shows? I like, go all out. I, I love getting into the mosh pit. When I was at the, at the Trivium Devil Driver concert, when Devil Driver came on, the mosh got sick. I was <laughs> in there, circle pit going, just everything going on. It just, it was, it was a blast. And you came out alive. Yep. Yeah. Mosh pits are not dangerous. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a mosh pit advocate, definitely. It's, it's all about feeling in metal music, not so much as just listening to it. I mean, that's what separates us from other, other genres. Like, we would be basically classical music with distortion if we didn't have that aggression in there. So instead of us just standing there like this, dead in the crowd, you get that feeling going and stuff. Whether it be breakdowns or thrashy riffs, tremellos, whatever it is, if you feel like headbanging, you want to push somebody, go ahead and push somebody. It's all for fun. Notice how you said push and not punch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, we're not slinging elbows and Hits are fun as long as you know your limits. There's no need to be MMAing people in the middle of the pit, you know. Remember the video, Grindcore Moth Pit, where it, people were doing high kicks and punches? <laughs> <laughs> it was so spaced out, too. Every every person was at least two meters away from each other. Metric forever. <laughs> Are you guys wanting any more shows before the year's over? Uh, I'm not. The, the last show I wanted to go to was with Kill Switch and Lamb of God in uh, Pennsylvania, but I'm not making it to that one. Um, the last show, I, I don't know. It depends on who's going to come up. I have to go look to see what's being offered right now. The last show I wanted to go to, but missed because of work, was um, the headliner was Attila, but I personally don't listen to them that much. But. The, oh, that show. <laughs> <laughs> the band I wanted to see was Upon the Burning Body, because I do like what Upon the Burning Body good, does. They are good. I so, saw them in uh, that's the show I mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions for us? Um, when did you guys start it? We started this, well, I've been actually doing this for, since I've been going to concerts, just haven't been doing interviews that much. Yeah. In 2010, I saw my first concert at Peabody's with Alasana, and we came as Romans. Uh, the rest in peace, Peabody, you have to mention that. Yes, <laughs> Peabody's, you are missed in our hearts <laughs> very, very much. Come back to us. <laughs> well, come, please come back. Like, don't move. Come back. <laughs> um, yeah, we started doing this since 2010. Up, got the Facebook page going in this year in February. Oh. Um, <laughs> you know, so you play drum. What do you play? Do you play anything? Or you just... Miss Saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning saxophone, but my always, band teacher me. Always good to know an instrument. So many instruments to learn. Right. I, I want to learn bass, but I haven't had any chance to practice, nothing to play you with. You have Guitar nothing. Hero, that's a start. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not remotely. <laughs> Metallica failed on easy. Bass is so much more fun and intricate than Guitar Hero makes it. Mm -hmm. All open. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could totally play through the fire and flames if you give me one string. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys feel about Rock Band versus Guitar Hero? Um, I actually am a huge Guitar Hero fan. I, I gave Rock Band a chance. I didn't like it. For one, being a drummer, I couldn't excuse the no built-in singing. It, it really bothered yes. me. Circle, then, circle, circle, circle. Me being a metal fan, I feel like the music that was in Guitar Hero fit me more so than rock band, like, especially when they made Guitar Hero Metallica, I was like sold at that point. <laughs> but and then also the drums and Guitar Hero are, you can just plug in two bass pedals and you can double bass and with rock band they make you buy an adapter and there's too much work and I just feel like Guitar Hero is a more metal centered game and rock band has more party vibe to it and they throw in a little pop there. You mentioned Pink, they, the Pink music and things <laughs> like that. Uh, Green Day. Green Day. That's pretty much how nothing against Green Day and or anything. Rock Band's meant to and be I've more, played. more like fun for people who aren't like hardcore. And right. Like Guitar Hero is meant for those who want to be real technical, playing something with difficulty. Like the hardest song in, in Rock Band, I played the first one was um, Green Grass and High Tides. And while it was, it was you know like six minutes of solo, but <laughs> the solo still wasn't that hard. I will give Rock Band credit. I didn't know what a suicide silence was until I heard Disengage on it though, so it introduced me to that. I actually forgot I about Disengage. <laughs> I also didn't know what a gravity blast was until I played that song, so <laughs> I guess that was a good thing. 
and also rock bands a bit easier to me. I don't, I have no idea why, but you're just strumming the notes. You can basically be off time, and then you'd be actually winning. I've done that before at a party. <laughs> yeah. We've seen like a lot of rock band like set up at like parties. Like, okay, it's time to play rock band. I'm like, just play this at someone else's house. Right. Like, you're, like it's not challenging. It's just like, okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing bop it. And I was like, here. <laughs> um, you guys have any more questions? Um, I'm good. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> what How many followers do you have? Followers? Like followers as in how, how many, many people like the page? He's yeah. been in the social um, networking. We here. have 440 people that like our page right now. We do not have a Twitter. <laughs> not sure if we ever gonna have yeah, a Twitter. Really right. <laughs> it's the uh, concept of it. it's like follow the leader. Like, oh my god, I'm following this person, but then Yeah, that's uh -huh. why she's yeah. got just such a hardcore aversion to the term followers mm -hmm. when it comes to right. anything. I don't follow people like I don't really I don't follow. <laughs> so. We are support Cleveland Metal Scene and we do not want a herd of sheep! Yeah. <laughs> we want a herd of wolves, not sheep. <laughs> right. Where did you guys get this drum set from? This drum set was ordered online from Guitar Center. I um, actually painted my house. So I got a. I had to get rid of a fear of heights and say whatever. I care about the drum set more than being high up, so. <laughs> cost $700. And then this double bass pedal that we use this is a Pearl. I forgot the exact model, but it's about 170. It's a pretty entry level double bass pedal, but yeah, it looking, worked for what we've been doing. I've been looking for a new drum set, like off the offline. I don't hang around in Guitar Center. The reason we didn't get an acoustic is because volume knob. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you guys play? Player practice or just um, right now we're doing we do the, the Sunday is a once a week thing and then um we'll meet up and say this is what you need to do during the week because I'm a college student he's a college student we also work on top of that mm -hmm. so it's hard to find days where we're free at the same time so but Sunday is definitely we do that and then we have our little weekly goals you go home you know text each other what did you do how did, we have a certain amount of time that we should be playing daily and mm -hmm. working on the songs that we introduced ourselves to during that Sunday and then going through the week like that. Awesome. Then once we start playing the shows, we'll have another, we'll have one day for just rehearsal for that to show that we're doing once we get that going. Oh yeah, and not to be product placements, <laughs> Heart's Key, my favorite company. I'm not, and I'm an Apple fan. I respect that's owned by Samsung. <laughs> but I still a Harkey fan. My old bass had Harkey strings. It never snapped in like four years. Four years. <laughs> oh, I have another fun question for guys online. When you guys start touring, what would be your tour bus vehicle? My car. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> first helicopter. We would have to get yeah, that, that's the first favorite. helicopter. A boat. space helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Whatever we can, we have to be a combination of vehicles to fit everything. I guess <laughs> we don't have a truck. No one has a truck. I don't even have a car. He has a car, but it would have to be some type of convoy system going on. I guess. <laughs> I don't think propellers would work all that well in zero gravity. I know. <laughs> and there's no air. I'm pretty much a plane geek, and there's no air, so can't generate any air. Is overrated. <laughs> yep, you don't need oxygen, it's not metal. No. But... Heads <laughs> 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 exploding, it's so metal. <laughs> oxygen is not a type of metal, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like, I think someone like a 6 month here at a table, that's not metal. Hmm. Let's see. I'm actually out of question. Really? Which is rare. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. If you get a tattoo by any celebrity tattoo artist, who would it be? I actually don't know what a celebrity tattoo artist is. My heart's breaking. <laughs> I, I don't have any tattoos yet. I plan on getting one eventually. It's just I don't not have any, money. Okay. Yeah, it's not, my, my, it's not in my financial like vision right now. <laughs> I have to work it in there. I want one eventually. Do you have any idea what you want? Yes, actually, um, I have to know who will be able to do this. I want it to be 
biblical, but as basically as violent as possible. I know I want Jesus' foot. So basically the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. I want the G I want Jesus' foot crushing Satan's head and then blood coming down and then it connecting the other tattoo that I want. And I want a cross that's bleeding also, but I don't want it to be too huge because I do also want a job, so I want to be able to cover them up. <laughs> I mean, I love tattoos. Tattoos look awesome. <laughs> tattoos are awesome. Like, I wish, my problem is <laughs> just like I wish I could get a bunch of artwork everywhere and people not judge me and not hire me, but it doesn't work that way. But I know I want a very violent biblical tattoo, at least two of them. My, mine would just be a little bit generic. It's a reaper, but uh, it, it would have a, two, two wings. One would be like an angelic kind of wing coming across here, across my chest, and then one would be like, like a kind of dead, rotted wing coming across my back and just spread across from there. That's cool. That's like one big piece of... Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we could, like the reaper would be here, the wings would wrap around once and then come across. I have the Grim Reaper bringing the soul to God. Um, Grim Reaper is the best angel because he's the most brutal angel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, take that up with the Archangel with the Flaming Sword, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. Starting a few fires is nothing but yeah. railing brimstone. But he wasn't a Cartoon Network character, though. Ooh. <laughs> That's so true. Cool. Uh, nice. Apparently he's Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite Saturday morning cartoons? Hmm. It's been a while since I've actually had a cable to I'm never too old for cartoons. Just okay, putting that out there. Let's just chop off the whole Saturday morning thing. Okay, favorite cartoons. Favorite cartoon, anime's um, included as a cartoon. Anime. Um, I, I used to be really into anime. So, but not anymore. I only watch one. Right now I'm watching Fairy Tale. Not much of it. Like, maybe once every couple of weeks. Um, I think Adventure Time and Regular Show are both hilarious shows. Growing up, I always loved Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, those are my cartoons. I've been a hardcore beach fan. I watch pretty much every show they've had come out. I, I usually watch them with the uh, Japanese voiceover mm -hmm. to watch it right away. Mm -hmm. Just, I can do it with the uh, subtitles. Um, I also like watching Naruto. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> no favorite show. I since there's Netflix, I will literally sit there and Netflix. watch the whole freaking show. <laughs> well, most of the shows are basically canceled, and yeah, I watch every single episode of every single show. Courage can't really go. <laughs> <laughs> about the music scene that bothers you as a whole? Um, what bothers me about What bothers me is it's just turning into an image kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Other than YouTube comments? <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to see something that's more about the music, not about the people, what they look like. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think I share in that. Like, I, I'll use Suicide Silence for an example. Um, I was not a fan was alive and I'm guilty of the categorization thing but I thought they were a quote unquote emo band mm -hmm. that's all my friends that listen to it were and I listen to it and it's like this really heavy death metal so I'm like wow I've been missing out on this just because of what somebody looked like and mm -hmm. that was bad I don't like that 
And the same thing goes for somebody who, like, the people that are, like, commenting about how much they love Mitch, 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 Mitch. It's like, well, he was a great singer, but he was not the entire band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they just liked the band for what he looked like. It, it was... Mm -hmm. It was the it was the whole collaboration of all of them that made it sound what it was sounded like. It wasn't just one person. What do you think of bogus stage names like uh, midgets named Giant and guys in business suits named the Caveman? What they have them? Man. <laughs> stage. It's names. art. Um. There you go. It's art. Best yeah. answer. I mean, I guess if they want to do that, I mean. I mean, everybody's been doing it for years, that, right? Also, you got the Rev and Jackie Vengeance mm -hmm. and all this. It, it sounds cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just it's up to you. If you want to do that, it's, it's all about your purpose. game. <laughs> um, if you guys had to choose a venue of your of your favorite choice to play, uh, what would it be? It can be anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, mine, I know offhand, whacking. Every time I whacking. see anything, I'm whacking. It is like mm -hmm. the best crowd I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I true. love watching several tour play whacking on YouTube. I watch it all the time. Mm -hmm. I love to play there because I know the crowd will do good. And I mm -hmm. wish I could say the same for Cleveland, and I hope to change that eventually. <laughs> we need to step our game up, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to be up there with those. Cleveland's kind of lazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to take the Rock Hall of Fame out of Cleveland until we get enough rock slash metal supporters back. And then take it back and then hmm. there you go, problem solved. But no, we can keep the Rock Hall. We just need to start bringing the freaking inductions here. I mean, come on. They're doing that it in New no York. Sense. Why? That makes, that makes no sense. Yeah. They feel safer there. <laughs> they need a better rock. They feel safer in New York. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> What does that say about Cleveland? Yeah. That it's awesome? Yeah, if we have more concerts in New York, what does that say? I'm here if you want to have a good time. <laughs> That's all. Um, favorite memory of Peabody's, or have you guys ever been to Peabody's? Or? Um, I went to Peabody's once, but that was, if that was, that would have to be my only favorite time, you know? It was just fun, you know, I get to see other local bands play was the main thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not you're not listening to someone that's already set in stone, got has a, has a following already. You're listening to someone trying to make it just like us, and it's mm -hmm. like you can relate to that. I actually never got a chance to get out there myself. I've only been to the Foundry so far, and I, after the Foundry, I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the Peabody now because I hear the crowd is crazy and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, it's closing. Mm -hmm. you know? Then I was gonna go see a Pond of Burning Body, but got scheduled to work that day, had things to do, so. Now that out. goes. <laughs> It doesn't sound like being an adult is much fun. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> they like <you. laughs> uh, I went to Kent State for two years and had to leave. I couldn't afford to go anymore, so I, I work and do this now. So. I'm at Tri-C. Mm -hmm. Galen, it's time for a race poll. If you join the reserves, you could have had free coffee. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm good. <laughs> I, 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 I enjoy my freedom. Uh, and your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even showed them the hair though. You only have one pair of beanie on. Exactly, no <laughs> hair show. <laughs> <laughs> so Instead of just doing it, I cover it up. <laughs> Dumb. We do respect our troops. Yeah, exactly. We do. I do. I have my brother, I have a brother that actually he just got out of the Marines. I do support the troops a lot. I'm glad for what they do, it's, and I'm glad they make the sacrifice because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I do. I'm glad there's somebody out there wanting to do it, and he actually does want to join the service. Though. Cool. Have you guys ever been known by any other band name, or? What was the process of choosing your band name uh, that you have right now? <laughs> we actually started off. I was, it, we were really. It was going to be at one point. It was going to be a Christian metal band. First, it started off called Flight, and I'm like, Nah, it doesn't sound metal. So we had the name Steel Cross for a little bit, and we were going about this Christian thrash band thing. And after going into it, I studied the the main reason I didn't want to be a straight Christian band anymore. I mean, my music is not like I'm worshiping Satan, but. I don't want to put that label on there because then people who aren't of my religion don't want to listen to it because they think I'm going to beat them over the head with the Bible or something. That's not what the music was all about. It was just um, just a moral choice. and it, The subject matter isn't exactly that. I mean, I don't want to take people to church on Sunday. I mean, if they don't want to go there, then they're not going to want to listen to my song. So I said I'm just going to change it and make the experience more... Um, 
people friendly have so everybody can have something to relate to. I didn't want to make my music just for one group of people. I wanted to make sure everybody who liked metal could listen to it. And then um so we wanted to change our band name and what you wanted augmented manifold? Uh, augmented manifold, yeah. Yeah, he wanted augmented manifold. What did I I don't remember what I want. But it was the where the blood part came in. I wanted something with blood. I'm a death clock fan, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I wanted something with blood. Suck clock, suck clock. Suck clock. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, it was apparently another band took up the name yeah. Still yeah. Across. Then that was, still that was, across. I'm like, why didn't I Google this before and see that somebody else had it? Mm -hmm. So whoever they are, they had it first and I'm glad. I mean, Augmented Through Blood, I mean, it was a collaboration of the names we wanted. <laughs> and it's also um, kind of a, um, what's the word for it? It's like, well, for me personally, it's like, um, it's just a change thing. Like, we're all like this metal family like you know the blood and stuff mm -hmm. like we're all changed by it it makes us who we are that metal and the word augmented of course means increased or made better so mm -hmm. we're made better by you right. know, each other what we yeah, do yeah exactly the connection through it? metal music hmm. that's awesome yeah. are you guys getting tired of us having cameras in your face <laughs> you know the camera's not getting back <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any clocks in here. Would you believe we've been here for like an hour and a half-ish? This is what happens when you yeah, get it's <laughs> music. Yeah, you can be listening to music and time's gonna go by. Oh, I've done listen to the same album five times today in a row. I mean, would you guys, <laughs> wanna, the only other thing that I think we don't have is what the song sort of sounds like with drums. Would you want to do Aggravated Aggression with me on drums just to have that mm. drum vibe? Can you that would be funny if I got on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually able to do that. I don't know if I, it would sound the same as that before you're so low. Yeah, that part would be empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be able to just ride that riff part so low. <laughs> my bass. You can do your solo. You can do his solo. And I'll just. He doesn't know my solo. Yeah, I was like, Burr! That's another funny part. We do not know each other's solos. Yeah, you I'll told me to play the Crawling in Shadow solo, I would not be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, stylistically, he's very thrash, very fast. <laughs> and I'm, I'm more of a mix, you know, like I said, metal chords where I listen to a lot of those. But I, I prefer I do melodic, quick, fast parts and quick runs sweeping in there more so I mean I've really added a lot, like sweeping more into my style but my solos when they're slow have a bluesy tone and then they sort of have this when they're fast this atonal shredding sound that's close to the slayer but I really like metal like like the metal that's like death chords and um death metal um I just definitely like suicide silence a lot now and um what's another band um, <laughs> There's just so, so many. many. <laughs> White Chapel, I like. There we go. There's another band. I like that type of music too. I've been incorporating that into my style. I've learned sweeps now. I, I used to not even be able to comprehend what was going on. <laughs> I'm definitely opening up and throwing everything in that I can find that I like in my style. Yeah, it shows you how a sweep actually goes. And you're like, oh, I'm just, yeah, it's I'm pretty pretty This video is brought to you by Coke. No, it's not. Shut up, give me money. Take our money if you do that. Don't we'll do that. Good question, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. <laughs> Mountain Dew or Sprite? <laughs> I like um. I like them both. Pepsi's smoother, but Coke has that raw feel to it. This is my. Pepsi's awesome. This is my opinion. Just kidding. I like the taste of Pepsi better. Here it is. But I feel like. Pepsi goes flat 10 minutes after you open it. So I hope it feels like it's the flavor lasts longer, if that makes sense. Because it seems like every time I drink a Pepsi, it gets flat no matter how fast I get done with it. The only, the only bad thing about the Coke is its history. <laughs> Alright, uh, one last question. What do you guys think of the, this country's bacon craze? I love bacon. <laughs> oh no, we have one. Here. I don't like bacon. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm a it's like bacon wow. flavored. No, like I, said, I want bacon. Not bacon Ooh, flavored. Segregation now. Segregation tomorrow. Segregation forever. Come to think of it, here's I a question food. we should all ask ourselves. What do we think of the people in the other nations who don't have as strong as military as us? They're getting prosecuted. All sorts of crazy stuff. They're, they're starving. 
And then here, we have a bacon craze. What do you think of that? I think you should drop the political bomb that we're right. avoid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll enjoy my first world problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should Good question, though. a military drone to just drop bacon. <laughs> See? Problem solved. 8130, bacon. <laughs> it's just eight. Attack. We're going to attack people. Okay. Would you be mad if someone know, gave you turkey bacon? Some people. Turkey bacon. Holy cow. No. no. Bacon. Well, that's bacon. why you drop bacon. Yeah. If they tricked you, my own here is bacon. I'm allowed to touch bacon. Or, or with. Turkey I forgot bacon. what. Turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. Oh. No, dropping turkey bacon on someone's an act of war. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bacon. I'm done. That's cool. Thank you guys very much. You guys are awesome. Do you have to head out actually? Uh, are you getting food yeah. for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're getting hungry. We're getting hungry. That was nice to meet all of you guys. You guys are awesome. That is awesome. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. This is still recording. Yeah, it's fine. We got a lot of chopping. Chair solo. <laughs> Chair solo. <laughs> Eyes augmented through blood. Yep. Get over here. <laughs> I just need to pull that chair. Can you get a photo of you guys? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Somebody's got to look, look, look at the other direction. Stop it for right there, one guy who's not looking at the camera.